All right, howdy everybody. You can see me up in the corner here. Happy May the 4th be with you. This is Star Wars Day. I'm the Brant. I'm Larry. We're here at the portal in Manchester, Connecticut. We're doing something different. Our internet. Yeah, we're standing. Right, we're standing. <laughs> Woo! Our internet has been a little uh, funky as of late, so we couldn't bring this to you live. So we're pre recording this, or we're recording this. But and we're treating we it like live because we're but not we'll, really editing it or yeah, anything. Yeah, but we won't we're be able just... to interact with audience. But it kind of makes sense because. We wanted to play more Star Wars Legion, but it's been a while, so a long while. it's tough for us to do a learning game, so we're just doing a casual play, this is Star Wars Day, celebrate, uh, and whatnot, so. New skirmish rules, though. New skirmish mode, right? Yeah. Is it new-ish? They're like, like a year old. Year old. So, I, mean, I mean, I've never played it, so <laughs> right. to me it seems new, so. Yeah, so we're playing with the skirmish mode, which is, instead of, I guess the starter is 400, the regular is 800 points, we're playing 500 points, five rounds, whereas normally it's six. And I guess the objectives are a little more basic. It's not like pick up and deliver or control a spot. It's just shoot each other. So, Ooh, can I shoot you? <laughs> Please do. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> um, so kind of an interesting battle here. I'm playing the Imperials with, of course, Darth Vader. So that's who I'm going to be playing as. And I am playing the Separatists. And I have General Green. And your models are gorgeous. <laughs> So. I uh, I started painting, it was like March, April last year, and we right, all yeah. got sent home, and then we were kind of working they here at the store, good. and I decided, yeah, he's a little shiny on the backside. I kind of went for that, put some like red on there. But, you know, he looks pretty good. In terms of, I, I'm not worried. I mean, it was fun to just try to paint the, them. The goal and, is to know what they are. Yeah. Stormtroopers. No, that definitely works. This one, I didn't quite finish painting the them there, so... Anyway, yeah, so we're just trying to learn. This is a game that we really enjoy, but we're going to try to go back and just... Uh, Remember what we're doing. We thought people might want to look at this. So don't treat this, please, as a learn to play, uh, as we normally do, but just something that you can watch and see how we advanced and whatnot. So, so for deployment, we got meeting engagement, which is two by two yeah, in opposite Yeah, so we marked corners. off these corners over here. From a theme standpoint, if you can see, we've created like a little... I, I don't know, like... Tatooine village or not something? Not even a village as much as like a remote yeah. little... You know, a few houses with like some kind of major evaporator. center evaporator, and then like out of these two town gates, I put these like little mini huts, and then I figure, you know, I'm we're deploying in these corners where there's a firing hole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're gonna decide if we go around, you know, in whatever. So it's kind of a pretty cool. And this is an actual Star Wars map. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. I'm sure Fantasy Flight, you know, but. Um, it has a downed ATST and some other stuff. You can see the footprints. Yeah, they had to rebuild the gate over the ATST. Yeah, yeah. After all the <laughs> <laughs> all the damage and whatnot, and then our dawn rule is basically nothing past range two, yep. round one. Yep. So our range is just going to be this stick here. So it's just range so two. We're not so going to be, be shooting low. each other round one. Nope. Um, and then it's just an elimination. So every unit, which I have five units, you have five units. So everyone's worth a point. Okay. And I think there's bonus, for one additional up. for commanders, operatives, and heavy units. I and do I have, not have heavy units. I have just a commander. As I do couldn't I. fit Boba Fett and Darth Vader. Yeah, I wanted to get, uh, originally I wanted to do Count Dooku and Darth Maul. Uh, and that was like 380 of the 500 yeah, points. Yeah. I was like, so, ah, this isn't going to work. Yeah, so you just have to think smaller. So those are our cards. So really the only one that we're going to worry about is this one. And these are new cards for the skirmish mode. So we'll set those aside up here. Print and play? I don't think yeah, they didn't come in a pack or anything. Yeah, it's just a print and play. So it's real simple. And actually Mike, who we've had on stream, he color-coded them nicely. Oh, yeah, normally you would set these up too, and you kind of get to pick who gets to do what. But we just kind of went with a random you just setup a random, since we hadn't yeah. played it already. So works there. So do we roll to deploy? I think one of us deploys first. It right? would have been based off of that, right? In terms yeah. of all that. So well, we'll roll off a couple what dice each. What do we want to use? Reds? Whatever you want to use, but yeah. Three? Two? Three probably most gives symbols. Us more. Yeah. Most symbols Three chooses. Three symbols. There you go. All right. So again, most symbols chooses. Three symbols. All right. You choose. I'll deploy wanna... first. All right. All right. So. Let's go ahead and put this do back right up front here. Goodness. So I'm going to just explain something quick. I have these four droidica models, but only two are in the unit. 
they could choose to go uh, wheel mode, right? Which changes them up a little. They get cover two and they get Pop movement three. Pop one of those three. on the screen just for people. Yeah, so wheel mode versus stand up and shield generator mode. Got it. Uh, they do have shield generator. That does make me feel four. better that I'm dealing with two of them and not four of them. Yes, yes. Um, so I think these guys are going to just look to cover, you know, cover over here. So we'll just do this. You might Maybe be too up. far forward. Is this your cutoff? Oh, geez. Yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look at me. So we'll do this. There we go. I'm right. good. And Darth Vader's backing up the do back right here. Wow. Yeah, it is interesting with this terrain. It feels like we're just coming right through here because this okay. way around. Oh, I was. I might go. I, might, I, <laughs> I almost put speeder bikes. Had I had the speeder bikes, I would have done that to come in from the side. But yeah, be interesting. All right, and then I've got these stormtroopers. The only thing they could do is go that way. A little more cover. Maybe I could try. Or do I like coming through here because the door's closer? Other than they're still right here. <laughs> so what I like in Legion is that you're really just worried about where your commander, uh, what is it, U unit leader? Yep. You just move your unit leader, and then you just position everybody around them. So it makes it really easy and fast. It's funny, we're trying to remember the rules and go through all the things, but at the end of the day, the game is very straightforward for a minis game. Yes, it is. These guys have armor. And I like it because it's... Oh, those are battle droids? Super battle droids. Super battle droids. Are they core units? Yep. Nice. I almost took just two of them, but I'm like, ah, I got these other regular B1 battle droids painted. I might as well, you know. I don't know which one of these is my unit leader. Well, I choose my unit leader to be the guy pointing. That's what I've always assumed. Yeah. I'm me. wondering if I have another... I mean, this guy's kind of... He looks kind of unit leader-esque. <laughs> He's holding his gun like this. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I deploy this at the same time. Is that that, like, support? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Go ahead. I mean, it's going to be next to this thing. I set up my B1 battle droids. It's not this guy, so. All right. And I will set up my mortar right here. I'll try to keep some of the cards nearby so I'm not constantly off screen. I don't think it'll be too distracting. And then my last one is General Grievous. Nice. Yeah, he's coming around the end. Yeah, we'll go there with him. Alrighty. All right, I assume if I set up first, I go first. Sounds good to me. Uh, how do we determine... Oh, no, no, no. You don't go first. It's the card you play. Oh, it's points. Oh, right, right, right. I was going to say, how do we decide who goes first each round? It's the card you play. So the lower the first you go. Right. Got it. And then you can command a certain number of units. Huh. So we're only allowed to shoot range two this turn? Mm hmm. All right, I'm good.
All right. I'm a one. All right. I am a four. Okay. It's definitive. So mine is just I get to activate one unit. So I take one of these and I can put it face up, right? Yes. Now, for me, for any of my AI, the way my AI works is if unless they have a face-up order token, they have to do what the AI says for their first action. So for the commandos, they have to dodge or move. If it's the droidicas, they got to attack or move. Um, if it's the battle droids, they have to attack. And if it's the other battle droids, they also have to attack. Okay. Um, is it face-up tokens that you place? And then do you just remove the tokens? Or you put them face down once they've activated? Got it. Um, so interestingly enough, I am going to issue an order to these guys. And they have coordinate droid trooper. After you are issued an order, you may issue an order to a friendly droid trooper at range one. So that keeps me from having to do the AI of those two guys. So it does say attack if able. Neither one of them are able to attack, so it doesn't matter. So I'd rather have my droidicas not be stupid AI. So my droidicas are these. So these units won't be able to fire, so you'll just get to pick their two actions on the first turn. Is that correct? Right, so it says attack if able. And if I can't, then you just do what you want, so... It's interesting. It doesn't feel like a huge Right. It's penalty. not terrible. Yeah. yeah. No, but it does require some, especially in a bigger right. game. Or I more guess units. if I had one unit around them, you could be firing at them and I, you couldn't really control it. To move and then attack to get in yeah, range yeah. of someone else or something like that. All right. Well, I will go first. I'm going to pull one off the stack and it's a core unit. So I'm going to go with one of my core units first. So I will move my stormtroopers. So stormtroopers have a move of two, and you get two actions. So you can move. You just can't attack twice, right? You can move, dodge, aim, yep. attack, and sentinel was the other one. I think that's if you only have. Can you always do sentinel, or do you need the... Yeah, I don't actually remember. I think you might need the ability. Uh, so we will move up here. The question is if we'll move again. Get into position. I think we will. Move twice. So all I have to do is move that commander, and then I just move all these units around them. And I think you have to be within range one, but it's not oh, a right, right, right. Yeah, big yeah, deal. Yeah. But you could, I could try to hide these ones if I needed to, etc. And stormtroopers have precise one. We spend a name token. They roll three dice instead. So everything we're getting is from these cards here. Go ahead. Hmm. Your activation, they are activated. I think I will also flip a random. I haven't shuffled it yet, so let's move it around. I flip. Heh. This is my commandos. So they have to dodge or move because they didn't have a face-up order token. I will choose to move. Hmm. Commando battle droids. I'm trying to remember, but there was just so much in episode uh, three. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Clone Wars. Clone so Wars, I mean, too, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's where okay. I've seen these guys. I don't think I saw them in the movie, so I could be wrong. The new one released today, Bad Batch. Oh, really? They're doing oh. a show based on them. Hang on. Before they go, we forgot the Scout 3. Oh, they three. get the Scout 3. Right, which the reason I put them over here is because we were going to. All right, so now they have to move or fire. I think they will move. Get way over here. Go. There. And that just goes a little cover in case someone comes out this corner. Nice. So that's his first move. His second move will be to dodge. Get a dodge token. I don't think you can have anyone who can shoot them anyway. So yeah, because they go away at the end of the round, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so they could technically double move. Correct. Hmm. hmm. They will. But I'm just gonna put them on this side and this guy. 
Or can they, they can climb, right? Because it's just the range up. Can they both fit yeah, I don't know how climb not, this guy has the works. <laughs> I'm sure they can. And that doesn't seem like it would be specifically tall. Well, they have this scale ability, which I think means they could do it better than a normal person. Mm. Uh, your go, I will double check the scale ability because that will tell us what's different about their climbing versus others while you take your move. Yeah, it's been a while since we've played. Yeah. All right. So. I'm going to go random and move Vader up into range like a whoop him. Sure. Core unit. Another core unit. Oh, we are not live. We are recording, though. Hey, do you recall offhand uh, how to climb and then scale gives you something to make climbing easier, I think? You just have to count the vertical distance and they don't actually remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I had plenty of, to go up there. All right. So my shore troopers... After you're issued an order, you may issue an order to a friendly emplacement trooper at range one. Okay, so the shore troopers can fire up to a distance of three. Nope, only two. What are you talking about? They can only fire two. Oh, this round, sorry. <laughs> I'm talking in yeah. general. My guys can fire five. <laughs> can they? Yeah, those guys. Oh, man. Well, that guy. But yeah, unfortunately, only two for this round. All right. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I move them up. Yeah. After you are issued an order, gain one aim token. All right. So I'm going to move these up, and then I'm going to move... them what does reposition do yeah all right we will move them up a distance of one actually And then we're going to move this one. We'll order the. Oh, wait, hold on. How do you issue an order to another unit? Do I go get their thing out of the stack? Yeah, you just issue the order and give it to them face up. Oh, so they don't go immediately. Got it. All right, I am done. Yeah, so you can climb, they will and then dodge if you don't have an ability like Expert Climber or Scale, you roll a die to see if you have trouble doing it. Okay. But they actually have Scale. Perfect. Makes sense to me. So you're done? Yeah, they go, and then they get issued an order. Oops. Um, a troop. <laughs> we didn't come up with an interesting story of like I know what's Grievous going on here. survive or this is like oh this is a race to find the last Jedi between the there you go between the imp the Imperials right, right. and the Separatists. There's like one Jedi holdout. Grievous Anakin wants... defeated Grievous, right? But we'll imagine Grievous well, survived the yeah yeah. This is a whole this thing. is our storyline, right? All right, so. Let's see, we're going to go from now on. This guy's going to be the leader from now on because it's easy to remember. He's got binoculars. Got it. Um, and they have to attack. They can't. So they're going to move. And then... Cool, man. Maybe move again? I tried to go simple on additional cards on my units, too, just for coming back. Okay. And then can I see that one -er? Mm-hmm. It's because everybody's got to be within one of him. However, we decide to spread these guys out a bit. 
gracefully lift it up, pull the weight around. You can only move up safely one, one if you right. bend. But if you have expert climber, scale, and something else. So you can clamber, but if you clamber, it's one move action, but you have to roll the fence line and then block the safety. He looked it up while you went in the other room. Yeah. Thank you, Dale. <laughs> You're hiding from me, huh? Well, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Careful because you're supposed to be put on a flat surface. There's a flat <laughs> surface. <laughs> well, I'm assuming he's then going to like take out Darth Vader from there. Oh, yeah. With his, uh, let's see, <laughs> uh, two red dice. All right. I will go with this unit, and they are going to move one. I'm going to flip over Grievous. He's got a two move. You're up, sir. All right. A lot of moving. I will go with Darth Vader. Vader only moves one. After he moves, he can attack. He will not. He will just double move. You good? Mm hmm. I will flip over, I'm sure, a core unit. And they can't attack, so they will move twice at speed two. So I'm going to go there. Oh, they move far. Oh, they move twice. Move, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to keep everybody. That's the joy of this game is that one inch from the leader, which doesn't really matter because technically you measure everything from the leader for yeah, line of sight. It's just the line of sight of you could technically be out of out of sight. All righty. That's it for those guys. All right. So then I'm going to go with my dewback rider. So he can only move one. I can give him a suppression token to move again. Um, or move at a speed of two. I think one is fine for now. He'll move here. And then we'll try to take a shot at range two. You're just out of range. All right, so we'll put a dot. Can he dodge? He's like a vehicle? Creature trooper. He probably can't dodge. Uh, if he's not a vehicle, I would think he could. Suggestion, do not have more than shot from the machine. You, after your movement action, get a free clamber up to range. Scale. Yeah, that's what that means. All right, well, can Dubax dodge? I don't see why not. It's not a vehicle. Okay. No, it's a... It's a creature trooper. trooper. Creature, creatures might not be. Able yeah, to I don't. I think it doesn't make sense. I don't know that. Don't worry about it. I think it makes no sense. We'll just play that way. So the droidicas have a face-up token, so I'm not forced into their um, their doohickey. So. And they get an auto aim. No. 
Okay. You must have taken a dodge token for something. Nope, oh. that was my setup oh, token. Oh, got it, got it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, we'll move one and try to shoot you. All right. So, yeah, there's three different range rulers for that. And then these just come apart into ranges. Real simple like that. Huh. There's a bump in the mat. All righty. Let's see. Did I get range two? I bet you I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. So I have these massive weapons. Can I have two red dice and four black dice? Well, because it's one red and two black each. Sounds good. I got a crit, two hits, and a surge, which does nothing because it's only for defense. So you get to roll three. So while defending, cancel one result means I only roll two, correct? Because I have armor? Uh, armor. I cancel one before I roll. I don't roll three and then cancel one. That would make no sense, right? I'm trying to remember, actually. <laughs> It's been a while for us. That's why we say don't take it as a uh, learn to play. We're just trying to have fun. Oh, I can dodge. So that would cancel another one. It just says while defend, defending cancel. It doesn't say you spent you do one less. Do you do one less defense die if you have armor? No. You still roll all your defense, I assume. Yeah, you just get another minus block. And in this game, it's been a while. You roll a block for each hit. Die for each hit. So roll three dice. Roll your three block dice. So this says while defending, cancel up to one result. Mm -hmm. I don't cancel it now. I think I would cancel no, one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so and then it's not as good. I would have a dodge, which would cancel another one, right? So I'm just going to block one die now. No, the dodge is on the die. That you roll your die. No, I think you roll three dice and then... That's what I thought. <laughs> Either way, you did it. Yeah. True. Because I think when defending is after... So I would just totally think it would be better if I could roll three dice. Well, I think it's meant to I be like yeah. you're purposely being defensive. And that is the end of round one. Like everything about your choice? About the what? Base. Of what? Those guys aren't done. These guys. These guys aren't really done yet either. These All guys right. over here look pretty good. So that will clear the round. And any defense tokens go away. Yeah, no, it modifies during the modify attack. So it's like you roll your attack dice, you modify them. Then I modify them with my results. Then you roll your defense. Then I roll my defense dice and modify them. And what is them. dodge? Dodge does an automatic, or does it let you re-roll? It's just automatic. Automatically you count. Just having the defense. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And cover is the same. You count as yeah. having. Yeah. Well, no. Cover is... Cover just you... can't... Yeah. Effect. Which is effectively a dodge. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now we're getting back in the swing of it. So now we pick another card, and these cards stay out of the game, except the 4-1, which says it can come back. What are you saying? Like here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No tanks. Yeah, we're still learning. It's been a while. Hmm. All right, I'll do this one. I'm a two. I'm a one. Nice. And I took uh, trained in your Jedi arch, General Grievous Gaines disengage, uh, and one dodge token. What are we counting dodge tokens as? These. Let's see if it's this. Dodge is this one. 
I was using that as shield. What's a shield? Then? I don't know what a shield token. I think these blue ones are shield, maybe? I don't know. Well, shield we... tokens have to be unique to you. Yeah, so... For now, I don't think it's these. I think these are like a special stress or something, but... Yeah, I mean, this is aim and this is dodge. For argument's yeah. sake, we're just going to say but... these are my shields. Because they're sure blue. Uh, my unit got fired at, but didn't take any damage, right? So I don't have to get any suppression. It's only if you take damage. No, I think it's... Oh, unless it's suppressive, correct. Yeah. And there's Grievous. Grievous has a dodge on him. And I get to issue a token to Grievous and nobody else. Oh, that's not his token now, is it? This is his token. Ooh. And I assume here, that issues one here and here, so all my core units are issued in this round. What can core units do? I lost the card. Uh, they can take a wound to perform an additional free action, but that can't be like attack twice. What's Vader have for health? Uh, he's almost dead. Eight? He's almost dead. <laughs> all right, I'm going to... Uh... I'm not going to do Grievous yet. I'm going to uh, draw random. Okay. And see what we draw. Ooh. Got my commandos. They are not with a face-up order token, which means they have to dodge or move. So I will give them a dodge for their first action. Their second action, I'm going to shoot Vader. Okay. Uh, I'm immune to deflect, and they're lethal one. Really? They're immune to deflect? Yeah. A crit and a hit. All right. I will use... I don't remember how these work. Can you only undo one of these per turn? Is that how these... I believe so. Okay, so he will gain a dodge token. Oh, you do that? It's not an action? I assume that means any time. I thought that's an action symbol. It would seem weird, like I'd have to go before Yeah, you. that's what I do with Obi-Wan Kenobi. I activate him, give him dodge tokens, but double check it. Yeah. I don't know. That seems yeah, there useless to yeah, me, especially well, at a cost of 15. <laughs> to be like, oh, you could use this if you go first, you know? Yeah, it's odd. I don't think the game has any things you do on your opponent's turn reactionary, but double check it. Because I know with Obi Wan, I was all stand defense. By is an action. If you stand by, you can wait till your opponent moves and then shoot them. No, we're talking about like the speed one here. Can I do that any time, or does it have to be on my turn? I believe that's any time. Okay. That's what I think too, because I don't think it would make sense. If you had to go first, I, that's, to dodge. that's fine. Do it that way. I just I should do Obi Wan completely different then, because that's because yeah. oh, that yeah. was Obi Wan's whole thing. It was go activate him, do his dodge, do his shield thing, you know all that. Basic Trying to find that it. Symbol. It might also be that it just doesn't count as an action. I don't remember. I think it doesn't count as an action, like one of your three actions. But I, I'm pretty confident it's your turn. Right, you only get two. But I don't think it counts as an action. I just think it's something you do. Card action, but I don't see... Oh, that's the standby token, so I didn't even have the right one. <laughs> and there's no free card action. These actions are printed on unit and upgrade cards preceded right, by the card. But it doesn't have action. that symbol. It has a different symbol. Yeah, this you don't have any, but there's a different symbol that I know that's actual action. Yeah, it's a free card action. It's still a card action. See if it says and during a unit activation. Yeah. Oh, so that's a yeah. That's how card. I was doing Obi Wan Kenobi. Like you totally <laughs> activate first. Why would that? I think they actually made that cost less too. I think in the new thing. Because that's pretty bad. If you're like, oh, you get shot at, but you can't use your defense. Well, and that's the thing. For Obi-Wan to be able to deflect, he has to have a dodge token. Right. So it was one of those weird activate him. All right, so I got two hits. Two hits. Mm. Crit and a regular. And block one. So I take one damage. In this game, I don't think crits do anything other than 
ignore cover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they can't be used for dodge or cover. All right, here you go, good sir. Okay. And I have anger, so I gain an aim token. So now I don't know what aim is versus standby. Oh, this one is aim. Aim lets you re-roll. Yeah, dice. One or two. I think one or two dice when attacking. Mm -hmm. All right. So who are you activating? I guess here. And we will try to... Um, all right. So we will aim with them, which I'm low on aim tokens. Not that it matters that much. Yeah, because you're going to use it right away. Yeah. Presumably. And then... Oh, this isn't the right weapon. Is it? I have this weapon. Well, it's the weapon you want. So just if the card is the weapon you want, who cares about the model? Okay. I did that with these guys, too. I have the better-looking weapon, but the weaker card. All right. Uh, so I think it's supposed to be this one, but that says short troopers only, so maybe I do have that one. So I can't move and use that weapon, <laughs> which I don't think is the one I wanted. Oh, well then. But I don't know where it is, so I'll just have oh. to go with it. Um, okay, so if I don't move, that one can fire, which I guess is fine. It's just I can only destroy these five units, right? Are in line of sight. Well, I don't think you're going to kill more than five. Right, no, I'm just saying if I, if I don't move. So I will aim and I will fire at them. No, no, I don't think so. I just, uh, if I don't move, that's what I end up with. But it seems better to have the other units firing. So each of the other units gets a white die. And then the big unit gets three black dice. And they have precise, so I can re-roll three dice instead of two dice. With the aim. What? With the aim token. Mm -hmm. right. Which I'm going to need. Because no one's as accurate as an Imperial Storm Actually, trooper. that's a really good roll for white and black dice. Uh, I don't think... Oh, they do. Change that one. So that will be another hit. Five? Yep. That's impressive. I need white dice, good sir. Let's see. Is that do these block? They don't, right? No. I assume that battle droids go down fast. <laughs> yeah, no, they go down really fast. So, so you can keep this unit by just getting rid of one of these, right? Or do you yeah, have to? Yeah, yeah. And that? I'm also looking to see, and I think you are in line of sight of him anyway. So I'll kill him. Joy to the world. Now the question is, do I want a dodge token I by taking a wound? Fresh. I don't think that makes sense. All you. Yeah, Stormtroopers just kind of showed how they are slightly better than battle droids. Like, they can be. All right. Can uh, be, yeah. Thank these you. guys. Fire first because they don't have a face-up token, so they have to fire first. That's where it sucks because now I can't aim. Right. right. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, I so. see. So there is something to it. I'm thinking you're going to attack anyway, but fire first, not you must fire. And then white dice. All right. Oh, oh no, he has an aim token. You know, two, my friend, regular hits. Okay. I think I roll red across the board. Locked. That is the best part about the Imperials, is the red defense dice. <laughs> then they will move. Put him here. Put everybody... Actually, I'm going to put him in cover. So they're all in cover. Do they suppress at one or two? Two, I assume? One, but two is the... Actually, at the beginning of my turn, I'm supposed to roll for yeah, that. Yeah, you have to correct? roll a white die to get rid of it. So nah. it stays, which now means they have cover. 
but they do one less action. Yeah. So they wouldn't so be they able to move. Couldn't have moved. Yeah. So it's when they get to double that they have to panic. That they have to panic. Look about right. Although, here. do they not? Are they not immune to it? I mean, I guess in the show they still have emotion. Yeah. No, that's cool. <laughs> All righty. That was my go. All right. Uh, man, this is tricky. These two are going to get in a mess. All right, how do they work? After you issue another mission, in order to run the after you in order to gain an aim token, another friendly unit forms a range attack, a face up blow token. All right, so I'm going to attack with that. I can pre measure range, right? Sure, I don't see why not. So I can see if they're within range three, and they are. Does he block line of sight? I don't think so. Yeah. Though and then this one's range you, four. I think someone obstructed or no? Where's your leader? This is my leader, and I would say he's not to yep. that guy. Yep. Um, okay, so I will fire with these ones here. So, after you're shooting an order, so they're going to go, so then they can also just add their attack to it. Yep. So, it's going to be um, three of them, four of them have black dice, and then this guy's got two black and two white. Ooh, it's a lot of dice. And then they've got three here. Whew. So, how does this work if it's cumbersome crit? I just add up my crits, right? Cumbersome, you can't move and attack. Yeah, okay. No, no, it all makes sense. And this is crit. So I have crit two, which means I can convert those little slashes into crits. The, she, the surges. Surges, yeah. Oof. Only got three, but I have an aim token. But I think they only get two because they're not precise. Uh, I'd reroll the blacks. Yeah, roll blacks. Better. So I got four hits. Four hits, and it's suppressive. I don't know how droids work in terms of suppressive shields. Any they of that. don't get suppressed. They have a dash thingy. Okay. So I block two, and I flip two shields over. And their shields can come back. Yep, one a turn. Is that? They each have two shields? Is that how it works? Or the it just says shielded four? four, so I don't know if they each have four or the whole unit has five. Gotcha. It just says yeah, shield. Would make more sense. Eight shields seems like a lot, but it does yeah. seem like what they did in the... And they are a lot of points. They're like, they're the cost of both my mm. troopers together. So that, I guess, is a reasonable so question. So each one should have four shields, is how you it is? Think? Maybe? I don't know. But you probably have to subtract from one shield first, right? I would think. As opposed to, like, bouncing it all bouncing. around. Bouncing yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. <laughs> All right. And their shields can block crits, I assume, because it's just taking damage, right? Yeah. Hmm. All right, and they... Sh oh, they don't get suppressed. That is it for me. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to find out. It's not going to matter right now if their shielded is for the whole. I'm going to draw random again. And it's the droidicas. They have to attack first or move first. They will attack that dewback rider first. Two hits, my friend. Two hits. Oh boy, dice are getting all moved around, which is the way you've been rolling. Okay, hold on. So I think we did it slightly wrong. While defending against a ranged attack, before rolling defense dice, the defender may flip any number of active shields. For each one flipped, you add a block. 
and you roll one fewer dice. So you could okay, choose so you to use them, before. but you do it before. So you'd have all four flipped to not roll defense dice. To not roll at all. Okay. Right. Um, and it says you put them next to the unit leader, so that makes me assume the unit has four. four. Do they come? Oh, they come in twos, and you probably can't really add. Right. You don't. There's no adding. Okay. So you them. would add another unit. So that makes sense because otherwise, so if you made five models, four. yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll just do it from that way now on. Sure, yeah. Because I don't know how to go back to it. That's fine. Uh, you have two on the do-back rider. And they are suppressive, so he does get a suppression token. Okay. Even without me. Now, if I hit you, you'll get another one. Yep. All right, how many you did? Two. Two. And he has armor one, so he cancels one, right? Or do we decide that's after? <laughs> Armor, armor, armor. It still, it still here. makes me think I'm supposed to roll because this feels better. I can roll two dice and then subtract one. That's better than I subtract one and roll one die, right? I thought I had someone who had armor. Armor while defending, cancel up. No, so it would be cancel one of them, but they don't cancel crit, so you just roll one die. Okay. Blocked. Man, I can't get a hit. The only <laughs> thing I can hit is Vader. That's right. <laughs> Oh, and then they're going to move. They're going to activate wheel mode. I'll do that after I move that. Ooh, so do they increase their movement speed? Is that yep. how it works? That's to awesome. three. And can they just take an action to flip back and forth? It just says, where'd it go? Because Is it free to switch, or is it your action to flip? Wheel mode. Oh, if you do until the end. Oh, it says when you activate, you may increase your maximum speed to three. Right. So it feels like there should be a turn you lag. Do until the end of the round. Yeah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So that flips. Okay. All right. So I'd have to activate him and move. Okay. So that is fine. Oh man, what does Vader want to do? We are on round two. Okay. I don't like that. All right. I am good. All right. Pull one off the top, and it is the do back. I don't think he can fit through that hole, right? Because his base would have to fit through the hole? Yeah. All right. That's the problem with the droids and the do back. So he's just going to come after those droids. Um, so he rolls because he's got a suppression, which I put over here, which I should have put here. Does not remove it. So now if I take one, I would be at one less action next turn, although I could roll to get rid of it. Well, they go one per turn goes away. Oh, you get rid of one at the end of every turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So then I will gain one to move two. <laughs> But if you gain one, now you're at two. So right, you but it's at action? the start oh, of your turn. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you weren't hurting yourself. No. So what does the gain one let you do? Uh, move at a speed of two instead of a speed of one. Oh, nice. So it's not <laughs> amazing, but it picks them up. Makes sense with the do back. And then I will fire. And I get four white dice. Oh, interesting. A free attack action, if it has range, I could attack for free, right? So I could aim and then fire. Attack doesn't have to be melee. It says right. after you move, you can attack for free. After you move, you can attack for free. So I assume... So if I aim... I mean, I'm just going to use the rerolls. Is your move not an action? My move oh, is an action. Getting, so I'm going to aim, move, move, and then fire. Yep, that's cool. One hit. I'll pop a shield for that. So it's interesting that you could choose to not use the shield and try to roll, the, but you get white dice at that point, right? Right. And but you take do... damage if you don't use the shield. Right. It's interesting that you're not required to use the shield, yeah. but... 
It's interesting Whichever. you can't do. I mean, I'm just thinking in the movies they stood off against two. Two of them stood off against two Jedi. Right. Yeah. So it makes me think you should be able to roll. If you don't roll defense, then use the shield. Right. Like the, it just seems thematically yeah. that that's how it should be. It's but... probably one of those things where you know, those were two. I, you know, it's hard to balance points and. So all you have left is Vader. To go. All I have left is Vader to go. All right, I'll go random, which we know it's going to be these guys. They have to attack if they can. They can't. Instead, they're going to move. I assume you have nothing with uh, blast markers. Nope. All right, I'm good. All right, and then I go with Vader. You does. Did you go with Grievous? Nope. All right. Vader, 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 where do you go? Do I go towards those battle droids? Or do I get those droid decals? Hmm. Tricky. All right, can I have the one? We have a lot more one maneuver than I realized. I know, right? Uh, Vader's just so slow. <laughs> it's tricky. Done. All right. Grievous is going to move and then move again because he has a uh, relentless, was it, that lets him attack after moving? Do you have to get in base contact with my commander? I don't think so. I think you just got to be in with Z in it. That would be odd, like, just circle your commander around. Well, I thought just because it only has yeah. you measure commander to commander. Yeah. yeah, for range that way. So he gets to attack after he moves, and then at the end of his activation, he gets to attack again. Nice. I was hoping you moved Vader over here so I could have yeah. done a little tricky trick. Uh, Grievous, Grievous, Grievous. He has Pierce Impact, which I think helps with armor, which doesn't matter. So we need two red, four black, two white. Whew. Well, they're dead. <laughs> well, I guess I'll roll these reds. So three, four... That's only when he uses the Annihilator, so four. Um, do they get those as blocks? I thought you used it as an attack before. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, that is confusing, huh? Yes, yeah, so they don't get that. So three, so one's dead. So one dies. 
And then I get to make another attack. And the he may perform an attack against each enemy unit at range one using the following weapon, which is suppressive. Yep. So you already got one suppression token. Do I get suppression from melee? No. I guess not. And I had pierced one, so did you block one? Yes. So one of your blocks didn't count. This one does not have pierce, though. Throw some more hitos. And this one doesn't have pierce? But it has suppressive. Okay. And it wounded you, so... What does wounded mean? Well, I guess it would be another suppression. Oh, I put the suppression on him. Right, so... No, because melee doesn't do suppression. I don't think this is... is yeah, this it shows there? melee or range oh. one, and you were melee. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all. I mean, they're dead. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how it works. I'm trying to keep. Yeah. But I mean, it shows the two symbols. So. And the turn. Yep. Round three. So if we both put a two down, what happens? How's the tie uh, broken? I, guess I think you went first last round, so I think it would pass to me. random euro game thought process uh i just think i remember that's how it works i don't remember in this at all or you roll a die it might be that you roll a die i thought there was some kind of weird roll off oh this suppression goes away oh One it's a weird two. roll off so we're supposed to be passing this back and forth you went um, first turn one i think you were supposed to have this so turn. you would roll a die. Wait, we're on turn two, right? We're ending turn two. Yeah. So hang on. So let's put this on two, not three. Well, no, this is the beginning of round three. Oh, is that when we do it? Yeah. So you would roll a die. It's 50-50, so it doesn't matter. It just says if you roll this, if I roll that. So it's just you roll a 50-50 die. But just... isn't this going back? To, or is this is whoever had the initiative keeps this until initiative changes? Right, yeah. Exactly. Okay. I was trying to put it there. No, I just wasn't sure if we both played a two. Mm. Interesting. All right. Well, we shall see. Plane of one. Plane of one. <laughs> so, so you roll one. the die, you can call it. It's supposed to be if you roll the block, not the surge. The surge is mine. So I'm calling, I'm rolling a block. Yeah, it says you're supposed to call that. I don't. So I could call, I want blanks. Technically, by the rules, you cannot. Hey, I called blank. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to say, you don't. You could do any 50-50. They're just saying it's a 50-50 thing. That's what I'm saying. Now you have this. All right. I will issue an order to Vader, and after Vader goes, he can shuffle his token back in by oh, taking nice. a wound. Yeah, that is what I realized. Which is exactly what I'll do after you use your card, or do your tokens. Oh yeah, that suppression goes away. Oh, thank you for the suppression. Yeah, I removed all the ones that are supposed to be gone. Um, so you're still here. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. I hope so. I hope you're in trouble. We played a lot of games of this and I didn't beat you. I had a couple that were so close. Uh, okay. And now I think we've just missed a boatload of rules, but it'll be good to play and then go back over them. I mean, these games are tough. There's so many rules, and then there's, oh, like, right, eye yeah. level and measure, and you have to get some form of just casuality of, like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it works. You Whatever the up. rule is is what the rule is. All right. Vader's going to go here. Do I need to measure one? Well, you're going to move. Yeah, yeah you don't I, have to You want me to measure one. it? No, no, okay. no, no. You're going to move. So I'm going to dodge. And is this after? 
at the end he can suffer a wound. All right. So I will um, aim. And then move. And my move gives me a free um, attack. Attack. So I will attack them. And Vader is six red dice. Nice. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Pierce, I assume. He ignores he's my armor. He's got Pierce. Right, yeah. So he ignores my armor. No. Oh, sorry. He's immune to Pierce. Uh, he's Pierce three. Yeah. So he ignores the first three blocks you make, right? Oh, you're not you, armor piercing. Okay. I'm okay. armor piercing and I'm immune oh, to being Pierce. Oh, he has Pierce armor and Pierce. Correct. He's both. His armor cannot be pierced on defense. He's Pierce 3. Pierce doesn't beat armor. Pierce just beats defense dice. Correct. I'm talking about armor piercing because oh. I have armor. Oh, is there an armor piercing yeah, as well? Yeah, it's called uh, impact. Okay. So he you don't also have... has that. He has impact as well. Oh, there you go. Sorry. That's what... <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that. <laughs> but that's changed three hits to crits which then you can't use armor to block. Correct. Okay, sorry. They've got it all detailed. We just have to find the flow, right? Uh, so I've got this, and I've got aim, and I'm going to force choke. So you take one wound. I don't know if they have more than one wound. Is that might be a regular action, right? Nope, it's a free action. Free action, choose a unit, they suffer one wound. Okay. I mean, you want to do it before you attack or after you attack? I want to do it before I right, attack. So there's one more. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to maximize. <laughs> All right, and then that. So he does not surge. So five hits. So five hits. You used your aim. You're able, what is your... Impact three. So I can change three of these. So they're all crits. So you have to roll for all of them. So they're all crits. So my armor doesn't matter. And so. it's pierce three. So you can roll five. And the first three, first three don't are count. negated. Wow, that's rough. <laughs> I rolled one. <laughs> so, and I choked one. If they have one health, they don't have one. Health. Okay. So six. So you did six wounds. Yep. They have two health. Yep. And then I suffer a wound to shuffle this back in, so he can go again this round. Hmm. I will pick randomly. He can go again this round. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, when he gets there, yeah. he's got. To I mean, I shouldn't damage. feel that bad. You're taking out a core unit. He took out a core. I mean, right. in theory, yeah, he went through he, them faster than he went yeah. over them. Although they're they twice wounds, the points, I imagine. Uh, there are two wounds. I don't know about points. Yeah. They're, uh, 48 points plus these two cards, which was another 42, so yeah. 90 points. 100 points, 90 points. Right, and mine was 70, so well, 80, what's, so it's only 10-point difference. So and what's Vader's cost? Yeah, exactly. 200? Yeah, Grievous is 175. So there you go. So you're, so it's about, you're already beating it's me. All, <laughs> all right, I get to go with a troop, so I can either go with them or them. You no longer have deflect, I take it, because you don't have a dodge token, correct? I do have a dodge token. You do have a dodge token. I gained it with this during my turn. And what do you have to do with deflect? Oh, and I have an aim token. You used it. Uh, when I suffer wounds, I gain an aim token. So at the end of my turn, I took a wound oh my goodness, in order to... You so are yeah. just crazy with it. So how do you deflect back? Is it spend the dodge token and roll defense dice? Um, can you fire at me if I'm in base-to-base -base contact? Is there a rule for that? I mean, the game won't work well if I can't, okay. so I don't know. You, you, you know the rules better than I at this point. I thought you could always shoot. All right. Uh, my, but I, I roll wrong. my dice and a surge... While defending, if you spend a dodge token, you gain surges block. If it's a ranged attack, the attacker suffers one wound for each surge rolled. Okay. So I'll just punch you back with those guys unarmed in close combat. Okay. 
because the arm cannon say range one to two, so I'm assuming that can't be used in close combat now that I'm looking at it. Three hits. Okay. So you have a dodge. Would you like to cancel one of these? Yep. So two hits. Oh, I see, because then you can fire at me with the other guy there. Hey, look at that. He's half dead. And then they will dodge. And your turn. Okay. I shuffled those. Wow, impressive. Do you want me to shuffle again? No, or? go for it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh man, if I pull that one, he's going to think I cheat, but I was sitting here that whole time shuffling. All right, so he will activate and attack. Well, it's good if you kill them, then I don't have to figure out the rule for those guys shooting Vader yeah. in combat. Well, I mean, so. I, have, I can't do six damage, so, well, I, sorry, I can. Um... So I don't know. I guess I just dodge as my second action. So my first action is... Oh, I can gain more than one aim token, though? I don't think so. I thought they were unique. And why do you think you could... So you could attack and dodge, right? So why do you think you can aim too? You don't have a free attack now. Right, so I'm going to attack and dodge. Right, so why are you putting two aim tokens? So I suffered a wound. So I gained another aim token. So yeah. I'm pretty sure it says you can spend any number of aim, aim tokens. Oh, then yeah, take extras. Go for it. I'm not trying to be. So you know that's fine. Go for. Don't look it up. Just okay. Take it. Yeah, I if mean we're wrong, gonna get rules wrong. If it's wrongs. wrong, it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Okay. So I'm going to attack. I'm gonna dodge and then attack. And use plenty of aim tokens. Yeah, and he doesn't get this right. So one aim token to reroll those two. There you go. So they're all hits. So it's six. Six. So I, well, I cancel one with my dodge, so five. There you go. Block none, so I'm going to leave that guy alive. Is, are they not all dead? I nope. did six damage? He did five. Because I had a dodge. Uh, that guy has one wound. Got yep. it. I done dodged. No, that makes perfect sense. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, those guys over there have a face-up token, which means I do not have to re-roll. I do not have to dodge first. Pierce goes through your dodges. Awesome. All right, so we have. I will gain a name token. Which I'm going to wind up using. Yeah, if you're just going to spend so it, it's fine. Matter. Two, Two re red. Yeah, you could keep dice over there. I don't mean to keep collecting. No, no, that's Although maybe Two they're red. easy to find. Too late. So I assume we're within range three pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Surge is a hit. Surge is a hit. And then I'm not going to reroll that white. I'll spend the aim to gain uh, Pierce. So I have Pierce. You're fighting him? Yep. Okay. So I dodge one, or am I taking three? I'm taking three, so you dodge one of them. And I pierce one, so you take two. Uh, I am immune to pierce. Yeah, but this has pierce. <laughs> I'm so confused. No, I'm kidding. Come okay. <laughs> I was just being funny. I'm like, I have pierce. <laughs> You're like, I'm immune. Um, you have a ton of suppression tokens, though, unless he's immune to suppression. He's immune to suppression. Okay. <laughs> he's Darth Vader. He's Darth Vader. No, I don't, I, mean... I don't disagree. I just, oh, that was, yep, they're good. Yeah, no, Darth Vader running would be the biggest problem in the game. <laughs> like, oh, <no. laughs> I mean, if they want to give him 10, I'd be okay with that, you know, if they want to give him some kind of... Well, threshold. the way the game works, even if they gave him, like, 
four or five. Right, he rarely have it. Like the the reality would be, he realizes he's in a no win situation, so he's tactfully or tactfully retreating. All right. What do I do? That guy is dead. <laughs> All right, I will issue an order here, which issues an order here, and then I just reshuffle these. I, I can't shuffle two, so you shuffle two. <laughs> Not worried about it. Okay. <laughs> I, I know what's happening there. All right, and then I will have them fire here. Sounds good. Uh, so they get an aim token. So that's four blacks. This is so many dice. Do you like to use the aim token? Yeah. All right. That's all I needed for you to spend the aim token. Got it. We know I'm not surviving one wound. Correct. My go, huh? Mm hmm That'll be your victory point token there. What's Vader have left? Three health. Yeah, that's a problem when you get that guy and I can't deflect. <laughs> Suddenly range is an issue. The droidicas will go to their move mode there. Okay. Replace that. That is cool. Although it's a good way for them to sell you four models. <laughs> well, they come that way, but yeah. I'm just saying, you have four models, 25 bucks, whatever. But it's definitely... Definitely worth it. Oh, that's the leader, so we'll put him here. Okay. Your go. All right, it's this guy. Where does this guy go? Can I shoot here? I think you're in combat with me still. Oh, I'm supposed to move to base-to-base -to -base contact so with you? So I think you have to dis... I don't know how that part works. But yeah, because they, they were fighting. Okay. So I just fight Grievous or I can run away? Do you I, get a swing at me? That's what I don't I know. So you. up to you if you want to try to run away and see. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just punch him. Maybe it'll be the key hit of the game. It could be. All right. Uh, unarmed. He gets a single black die. One hit. He's a red die. I definitely don't red the, roll the red dies as good as you do. So he's got a wound. Oh, did you take it? Poor Grievous. My go? Yep. It's Grievous. Uh, I'll attack you back and kind of balance the game out point wise. It's red, two white, two black, two more black. Four hits. Do I roll them all? Yeah, which is weird, but right. you missed one. All you got to do is miss one to die. And I put the token up here. And then his other action will be to move. I guess it's kind of cool. It gives you that chance to be heroic, right? I blocked all four. <laughs> no, I want Grievous to go after Vader. I just don't think there's going to be enough time. Alrighty, Grievous is done. Your turn. I think you got the do back rider left, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. 
See, this is going to be your... <laughs> Although you may not cut them down, but I imagine that combo will cut them down. There. I don't know how to get to them. I don't have enough speed. And not being able to get through the door. If you can see here, can I see them? Uh, look, I can't. I can't. He can see you, right? Right. This guy can see Vader through the door. I don't think the do yeah. back rider or him can see each other. Well, that's a weird thing of going that way. How many wounds does Grievous have? Health does Grievous have? He has six, eight. eight. So he has seven left. Eight. So that's going to be a, a long fight. Don't remove the suppression. All right. Does he get a pivot? No, I can pivot. So what is pivot? Is it three? It's not 360. How much can you pivot? I think you pivot. Oh, okay. You stay on your base and pivot. Gotcha. All right. So I guess I will pivot. And then just move one. Well, screw it. I'll gain the suppression. Whatever. <laughs> Got to get to you. I'll go after these. Ah! <laughs> I think I went a little too far forward. I'm going to back up in all that chaos. And then I will fire at them. Can they be fired at in that mode? Yeah, they just have cover too. Okay. We'll do it. So that's cool. I see. So you kind of lose a turn, but you get big time cover and all sorts of things. I like that. And it gives me movement to get where I got to go. Right. Yeah, which is nice because that's what I... These two don't have that <laughs> luxury. And I completely miss. All right. And these guys go. That is you. Shouldn't do this because I'm bringing them into the fray to be killed, but whatever. And they'll fire at your do-back rider. Nice. Try to suppress him more. That's a good call. Oh, I technically should I it's my fault, I missed it, but I forget he gets a free attack. So I have to remember. One hit. One whole hit. Uh, armor one. Sure. <laughs> I'm looking like, yeah, nothing I can do about that. That's the round. Yeah, it's interesting when you have these smaller armor, you don't have as many things to cover for other things, right? Right, you don't have all You're those. just kind of, you don't have all the extra upgrades, or you've got to take heavily upgraded units. Oh, I just need to check if I get... Vader lets me recover one of these cards, and I just have to see if I get to recover one normally at the end of the round. End phase, end phase, end phase. Recovering them is that's an action. You don't get any of these cards back naturally? No, you should. Vader gets one. That's what Master of the Force is. Right, but you don't get them back otherwise. Correct. Well, you take a recover action and recover them all. Okay. Yeah. But it might not be recovered. There is an action. It's actually interesting. I just noticed that I'm supposed to pass this to you at the end of the round. So then the die, but again, it's a 50-50 die roll, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Sorry, you picked your card? Yeah. I don't want Grievous to go there. This is gone. Hmm. Interesting. Which one I should do? 
All right, I'll do this one. It's a two. Me too. So you yeah. roll it this time. So I'm on the, the armor. No. Which is you. So I get to go first. Which I feel like here is the difference in the game. <laughs> All right, so um, he gets a surge token, Grievous does, which I don't know that we have any of them. Did you ever get him in this kit? No. We'll just, that's a surge token. Maybe the blues are the surge tokens? No, they actually, oh, here it is. They actually look like a surge. Yeah, there it is. <sighs> and. Do, 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 do. Shouldn't he have two on him or no? I just removed one. He didn't have three though? Did he gain one when they hit him? Or did they, they not did not hit him? hit him? Oh, I missed completely or you blocked? I blocked. Fair. Uh, the, these guys have Guardian 2. Oh, because they're near him? Yeah. Gotcha. So whatever the hell Guardian Oh, does. he can take two of their damage. Or they could take two of his damage. Oh, they can take two of his damage. And they can use it during melee. Okay. I'm going to uh, go for random. Okay. Random, random, random. Droidicas. They do not have... Uh, so they have to attack or move. They will happily attack. Red to black. Um, and I think... They will attack this guy. Because what does he have? One wound? Or two wounds? Uh, he has two wounds. Three wounds. He has three wounds, I thought. They'll attack him. And we'll do three damage. Do they surge? Defense. They surge defense. So three damage. Two crits, if that matters. Block two. So I take one. So you're and double suppressed because you took double a wound suppressed. and they're suppressive. And then for their next action, they will dodge. I thought you were going to say die. I was like, brutal. <laughs> you're go, sir. Okay. Where do I want to go? So they're at full shields again, huh? Rough. Yeah, you missing them completely last turn helped, though I did have cover too, so even if you hit twice, unless they yeah. were crits. All right. Um, I guess I will go with the do back and roll. Don't remove the suppression. Gain another one. So I can move two. So I can move two. And move into them. What happens? I just go to yeah, there you go. the front of you. Try not to hurt your mini, so I'm just going to back up a little bit. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm going to aim prior to that because when I move, I get a free attack. So it is three reds and three uh, whites. I am now questioning my choice from before because this is melee and says suppressive. So I think over here you would have been right. But I don't remember if I end up even doing a damage to Grievous. There's a damage on him, so maybe Actually, I did. did do a so if I end up doing seven damage, we can we can retcon that. My bad. And then I get two re-rolls with the aim. So I got three hits. And so I cancel one it's with crit my two, so those go to crits. It doesn't matter for any of this, so I'll dodge that and I'll shield those. Oh, two. you can't dodge a crit, right? Well, Isn't that cover how... doesn't work on crit. Yeah, I think you can't dodge a crit. Um, sorry, I'm looking. I thought crit they have a dodge only token. For cover. Yeah, you took one last turn. Yeah. Well, this turn. Well, my last activation. Um, you might be right. It might be just cover. I thought it was just cover. 
If not, they'll still have a dodge for when they get attacked by someone else. Uh, dodge tokens and cover cannot be used to cancel crits. All right. So I still have a dodge. So you'll still have it, yeah. My go, huh? Yep. How much life does that do back rider have? Six. It's time to kill that guy, hopefully. Oh, look, it gets to be Grievous. <laughs> he will aim first. Um, and then he will move. I have the range, so I'm just going to make life easy. And you have a surge here as well. Yeah. Um, and I get a free attack. I don't know what the aim looks like. It's not what I thought it was, right? It's this one is the aim? Um, you no. Know, there's a this third one? token. That's what's confusing. That's the aim. I think I'm going to use the... Yeah, so I will use the Trophy Lightsaber and the Annihilator for this attack. Nice. Trophy Lightsaber. That's two. so good. Oh, we're doing well. We were like an hour for the first two rounds, but now we're half hour for the next two. Have the aim token. Oh wow! I guess the aim token will just go here. I can't roll it twice. Seven so hits. this surge is going to go to a crit, and I have this surge. Crit. All right. So I block one. Is there eight total there? So seven. Yep, seven. All right. And I have impact, which do you have armor? I do. So you didn't block. So I got to roll eight. Oh, no. Impact just turns to a crit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. whatever. So it doesn't matter. Same so you still, I, I didn't have enough crits, so. So I block three and, and take I five, or pierce, do you have pierce? I pierce one of those. One. So I take six. Wow. And you do get another suppression token. Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh, I thought he had... <laughs> Six health. Oh, all right. Crushed cool. him. All right. I will pull off the top of the stack. I will issue an order there. Wish it was an order there. Uh, which gives them an aim token. Here. And they're all going to fire on them. The droids? Yep. Okay. They have deflect? No. Right. They're immune to deflect. So if they shot Vader, he couldn't deflect them back. All right, so four, two, two, two. Yeah, I don't think they have anything for rolls. I can just convert one surge to a crit, and I also have the aim. So one of these becomes a crit, and then all of this. Oh, I didn't realize how many surges I had. I was like, that looks good. So I got five hits. So my dodge gets rid of one. Yep. My shield gets rid of one. Gets rid of one. So I got to roll three. Yep. And how much health do they have? Three each? Yep. The white you can't dice. can't quite kill one unless you whiff. Oh, that's not well, I've been brutal on white I've dice. I've been whiffing yeah. a lot. Hey! hey! blocked one. Darn. You blocked one. So you got the damage to... Oh, no, I do. And that's not going to be enough. Not with those units there. So this is that. So they will activate. They'll... They had a token, so they don't have to do the AI. So they'll aim and then fire at Vader. Okay. They have Pierce, but you're immune to Pierce. And I'm immune to deflect. Got to use the aim token. Two hits. Block two. Block two. And then their last action will be to take a dodge token. 
No, they ain't. Lies. Lies. All right, I will go with Vader, and I will move. Oops. This was turn four, right? Yep. So that's going to take Vader out of my range to try to. And I will move again. And I will choke them for one. How much health do they have? One. one Can you dead. choke anybody or only trooper units? I thought it was just troopers. Troopers. They're not troopers? Right. They're Troopers are the triangles, right? These no. guys and those, those guys? Those are core units. It'll say right here. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> I would think he could choke commandos. I don't know yeah. why. No, I don't. I don't disagree. Just from if he a, can't see them, I guess. From a game yeah. perspective, it's just rough that it could be my non. Yeah, it's non core units. It's non commanders and operatives. I can't choke like heroes. So you've gone with everybody. Yep. And I have these guys left. Uh, range three, I believe. One, two, three. All the range in the world. So let's try to finish off that guy right there and overly suppress him as well. Uh, I have a face-up token so I can aim and fire. How much wounds does he have? Uh, he has one. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it then. Aim and fire. Uh, he can't shoot, so only three guys can shoot. Too late. Holy cow. That's a good roll. Use my aim token missed. Four hits. Okay. Block two. Dead. That's it for the round. Going into round five. Yep. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> this city is delicate. Don't pick up those ones. <clears throat> Round five. All right, I got a three. I have a two. You're first. We will give a token Issue to... Issue an order to Vader and he gets a dodge. Give a token to Grievous. And... A token to these guys. I mean, you wipe them. You've got me, because I'll get two points for that unit, but... Why two? Uh, they're a specialist, right? Oh! So your <clears throat> Vader's worth two points and Grievous is worth two points and they're worth two points. But you got me just by wiping them out. Or maybe I should go to him. What's Gr Vader have left for points, too? Yeah. Oh, no, he's got five damage. He has three health, and he has a dodge token. Ooh. All right, yeah. I'll go with Grievous. Move and then move and then attack for free after the move. Red, black, white, red, black, white. One, two, three, four, five hits. Do you have anything? No, it's uh, impact. Pierce and in impact doesn't matter. Pierce, you know, it's Pierce one, right? Pierce one, so. So I'll... I block one and take four? But I pierce that one. Sorry. Oh, thank you. It was a surge. So I'm dead. And you win. I will go and kill that guy with Vader. Yeah. Clearly dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless I can't climb up there and you can. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you could force choke him. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Um, so then I would get... You would get these. Hang on for fun, though. You think? Well, I want to try one thing if you don't oh, mind. Oh, gosh. On camera? Yeah, why not? Okay. The droidic is going to try to kill Vader. 
How can they see him? Well, that's why I was going to see if I can move enough to get through that door. Yeah, gotcha. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he has a dodge token, so he's yeah, deflect. So be are they immune to deflect? Yeah, they are. Man, you were like was, set for Vader. Yeah, with, I didn't even uh, know You can't that, deflect, yeah. can't deflect. That was good. I mean, nice. what I like about it is it being objective-based, kind of like Age of Sigmar and some other games, is it doesn't have to be kill all your opponents now, yeah we happen to pull the one that did that which for skirmish is okay with me because there's so few yeah. units this is a little weird like it was fine because i eliminated half unit mm. then you take mine out i mean that's fair but he actually against tricky. vader seems almost better suited yeah your whole army had really good things against yeah, mine know. i i was good at that distance to launch i think the droid cars became the thing i couldn't they were like the mcguffin that i couldn't well you were down. well they were down i mean they were ready but to they get were, down yeah exactly I mean, had i gone first that turn i would have fired you would, here and might have killed them and maybe because yeah although when you killed that that was rough in yeah. terms of that but that's fine i it mean it was game. it was close enough and this is how it's been so many times when i played yeah. you it's been and so I, and close i do like i want so to play times. this a little more to get more familiar yeah. with the rules so it doesn't take so long thinking yeah it's hard oh, what is this things. rule what is that rule All and you saw it between us we've done this a couple of times where I, like we get so caught up in like oh i want the rule to be in my favor and then all of a sudden you just have to let it go yes, like cares, it's fine it, it doesn't yeah. matter i've lost this so many times it, it's fine. So I like that. So the cards are free turn. actions, but the action has to be on your, on your I, turn. Yeah, and that makes sense just what I was doing with... See, this is an I evader think this card. card. That's not a evader card. I think this card got lowered to 10 points, though. Because okay. I was using that with obi And I have an app that has the points, and it updates okay. them, so that might be part of what it is. Because I remember but, using that with Obi-Wan, because Obi-Wan's big thing was he could stack dodge tokens, and he could do all this cool stuff with dodge tokens. Yeah, the other one for but Vader... But then I gave up that army and gave it to Mike, so... The other one for Vader is the um the saber throw so he has right. something to do at range so you could do force choke and saber throw as you get it but i mean well, to again, me that when was he the... gets into a unit he just well, well yes. to me that was the biggest difference between vader and grievous is grievous had a move of two vader has a move of one that all of a sudden makes grievous much more yeah now granted vader's throwing what six red dice Grievous is throwing eight dice yeah with two lightsabers but red two black white red two black white so, you know. Yeah, I think they lowered, what is he on here? He's 200, they lowered him to 190. Okay. So they clearly realized that. The only mobility he has is that card that says he can go again. So again, once he gets there, that yeah. unit is just wiped out. But that's kind of thematic, right? Think of the end of Rogue One. He can't get through all the and doors. And I'll tell you, I did not defend them. well. The white defense dice versus red defense oh, dice yeah, are a huge. big difference. Yeah, because there's only my... a one block. Yeah. Yeah, and there's three on the other one. And, and I rolled them very well in the beginning. Right. Which you was did. huge. You did. I, yeah. There was a lot of like, oh, you took no damage. That Dubag Rider, though it seemed sad that he died so easily to Grievous, yeah, he, he did last a while run. getting shot at. So. Yeah. I wish he could have done a little bit more. But I, that's I kept skirmish. forgetting to I'll tell you what. And attack and... What was it, two hours? Yeah. No, that wasn't bad. So skirmish, with rules, hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. But I would think it's an hour to an hour and a half game when you know all the rules for skirmish. Right. 500 points. Because you're not... For you to have more than five units, you're gonna to have to really cheap out, and, and then right. you have six. But then you don't have a lot of rules to worry about at that point if you have all basic, you know, units. So nice. Thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. May the fourth be with you. I'm General Grievous, <laughs> and I'm Darth Vader. And Grievous is victorious. <laughs> well, Darth Vader's off in his ship, and he'll be back in. Uh, yes, he. The well, Empire this was the, this was his whatever. thing spinning I'm out spinning of. I'm spinning off into yeah. the space. I'm not dead, so I'll yeah. I'll be back. You'll, I'll be back. All right, thanks everybody. Until next time, we hope you step into the portal. Bye. Thank you.